A few years ago, a group of my friends got together and we started to play board games. And one of the games I was introduced to was Five Tribes. We really loved playing this game, but it had a big problem. One of the main resources used to build things and buy things were slaves. This was a really poor judgment call on the part of the game developers, and they got a lot of pushback for it from different players around the world. And rightly so, especially with their design of the card. There's you know, a chained up person with dark complexion only wearing a loincloth. Days of Wonder have since replaced this resource card with a more PC character, but this shows us how slavery has a real negative connotation in our society. With our history of forced labor and the horror stories of modern day slavery and our culture's desire to set our own path and to be our own masters, we find it really hard to identify ourselves with this term slavery. But that's the term that the authors of the letter to the Philippians used to describe themselves. Let's read Philippians 1, verses 1 and 2. Paul and Timothy, bondservants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi, including the overseers and deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul and Timothy call themselves bondservants or slaves. We've already seen how this is quite an emotive word, and it stands in stark contrast to how they describe the people in Philippi saints or holy ones. Why is Paul making this distinction? Well, is he making a distinction? I think in these two lines we see two aspects of the Christian life. Paul and Timothy are slaves of Christ Jesus, and the Philippians are saints in Christ Jesus. The ultimate identity of both is wrapped up in their relationship with Christ Jesus. I was reading Motier's commentary, and he says, to be in Christ is to possess what is often spoken of as full salvation, everything necessary to our past, present, future, and eternal welfare has been secured for us by the action of God in Christ and is stored up in Christ for us to share and enjoy. In Christ, the Philippians can have confidence that they are holy. Paul and Timothy see that their work goes to honor and glorify Christ and not themselves. Paul and Timothy are modeling for us an attitude we are to have in our lives. We serve and give ourselves to Christ and His ways without expectation of reward. They also remind us that this attitude is possible because of the grace and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. So as we think about how Christmas can change our lives, think about these verses and ask yourself, how has God shown me grace and peace? Do I think of myself as a saint? Am I willing to act like a slave of Christ Jesus? Mm -hmm.